Hi Aquarius, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space. I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and your signs. And if this reading resonates for you, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on youtube as well i'm accepting personal reading so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me all you got to do is click on the link in the description box down below all right you have the ten of cups the, the hermit card the high priestess and then the magician wow three major arcanas Four major arcanas, the temperance card, the chariot, another major arcana, and then all major arcanas. Wow. Wow. Major changes happening. Major changes happening underneath the deck is another major arcana. This is the star card. So you've healed. Fully healed from whatever it was that happened in the past. Someone who has hurt you, someone that you needed to, a connection that was fated to happen, right? But you were never fated to be together in the end. This was someone who was brought into your life to make you learn a certain lesson that you needed to grow. Right. Anyway, I'm getting your fully yourself now. With the Ten of Cups as the overall energy of your reading, long-term committed relationship. This is something that you've manifested, very much manifested. This is everything that you deserve to have. Someone who loves you with all that, all their heart. Someone who sees a future with you and can grow old with you, wants to grow old with you, chooses you every day, I'm hearing. There's someone who chooses you every day, Aquarius. With the Hermit card and then the Temperance, all right. Hermit card and then the Temperance. For quite some time, you've been really working on yourself. You've gone through that dark night of the soul and you realize that what you lacked in getting, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but what you lacked was trust, patience, and balance. For some of you, emotional imbalance. I'm not trying to offend anyone, I'm just, that's just what I'm getting right now. I'm getting, it took you a while, but... You finally listen to your spirits, angels, and guides. Finally listen to your intuition. The High Priestess and then the Chariot card. Whatever, whoever is coming in is rushing in towards you, to come towards you. You may not see it now. It feels like there is nothing coming in. There is no one coming in. But I promise you, in the next maybe two to seven days two to seven weeks and two to seven months this person is about to charge in could be dealing with a cancerian because these are both cancerian cards take our resonates all right with the magician and then the hanged man this is someone you've patiently waited you've been trying to manifest to come in for the longest time Clarice, this is someone you very much deserve. Um, I do want you to focus on or to mind what your thoughts are because you are a strong manifester. What is the outcome? You have the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and then the Four of Pentacles. 
this is the advice for you. All right. The outcome is the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and then the Four of Pentacles. So whoever this is, they're going to bring you a lot of balance, all right? Never going to breadcrumb you. Equal give and take in the relationship. And you're about to... And your singlehood, your single life. You open up to this relationship. And then you have the death card. Embracing that new you. That's advice. Just embrace the new version of you. So that's all I have for you, Aquarius. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, give this video a thumbs up. And then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading. And stay blessed.